Hello, welcome to the first official devlog for Fantasy Waifu Simulator or Collector. It's a gotcha simulator. And it's made in Python with Pygame. So what we see here is um, a game with about six months of work put into it. I've uh, I play some mobile app games, and it's basically collect a character, power up a character. Um, there's uh, super rare characters that cost money uh, and are super hard to get. And then, uh, of course, there's the gameplay loop of give the app your money to in order to uh, get stronger. And I was wondering, you know what? I bet I could build something like this in Python. And this is my attempt at it. So, this is what I have so far. Um, I've been pretty active in Discord uh, with the development of this, posting small clips of videos and whatnot. And then uh, it's finally gotten to the point where, you know what? This is actually starting to be playable. Um, I'm going to uh, put it for download so that everybody can play it. And that brings us to this. So, with my devlogs, instead of... Well, I'm still posting stuff on the Discord, of course. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to make videos and post them and see what happens. Uh, this game is free. My intention is to keep it free. I, this is why I call it a gotcha simulator, because as of right now, um, I don't want this to cost real money. Like, this is basically just a big giant experiment on my end. Alright, so what we got here is a development build. <clears throat> I've already released the first alpha version to overwhelming disappointment, because uh, shortly after I realized, well... Uh, the login is a little bit iffy, and uh, uh, some of my testers, one of my really reliable ones, he uh, he lives in Europe, and there's this whole thing called GDPR. And I was thinking, you know what? Since this does have online access to stuff, um, I better make a privacy policy and a uh, terms of service. So I've done that. And I'm scrolling through this stuff as I yap. Good stuff, right? So, I uh, took down that first build. I uh, rewrote the entire login process. Um, I'm using Scram uh, methodology. Basically, the client, after pinging the server to make sure, hey, are you there? Well, okay, cool, you're there. Let's... Uh, Let's send our client first message, which is, um, you enter in your username and password. The password is hashed on the client side. Uh, previously, it was being sent to the server um, and where it would be hashed on the server side. And that is pretty open to man in the middle attacks. That is not cool, right? So, uh, we hash it before we send it, and then... Uh, that's only done for account registration. Uh, when you're logging in, no password is sent at all because the server has the hash password and every time the client is run, it makes a unique key. The server makes a unique key. They do their thing and communicate and the server sends assault to the client. The client does its own pa password validation and it sends proof of the validation to the server because the server uh, revalidates using the salt with the original registration password, hashed password. And after that, if it if the password is good, it sends back a validation key. That is a very generalized summary of uh, uh, the login. And this is what you're going to get with these devlogs. Not too much gameplay, a lot of yapping about how this stuff works. But that's because I love working on the back-end stuff. And uh, this game is very back-end heavy. Uh, what you see here is um, the main screen. And if you notice, I have this kind of funny, weird-looking character. 
And this character is built out of sprites. Each sprite... Uh, you know what? Let me show you this. Let's go. Let's talk about the character. This will be my devlog. The pose editor. So, <laughs> I've built this all myself. I have drew all these assets. And uh, what you see here are all the sprites. All the sprites. Each one with their... Um, with their location on the screen, and each sprite has a pivot point that connects to a parent sprite. So, like the the ankle connects to like the knee, or the knee sprite, which connects to the leg sprite, which connects to the hip sprite. Which um, for this, I'm using hips as the base uh, parent sprite for the entire character. That's why hips is at the top. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Everything is rotation zero, which means what I did when I drew this thing, well, first I sketched out the character, then I went into uh, a pixel editor, ASE Sprite, I always get the name of that wrong, it's fine, and uh, I, drew, <laughs> I drew the pixels over the drawing, basically outlined the character, I drew it as is, this is what the character looks like. With rotation zero of everything and it actually makes it harder to work with because i should have drawn the character with all the sprites uh straight up and down vertically whoopsie there just like that so this is a vertical line and as you see i got some uh i didn't want to show that yet so so what we got is um let's mess with the leg so this left leg as i move the sprite it's rotating the sprite it's connecting to an anchor point to the hip, and uh, the anchor point at the knee is where this uh, shin is connecting. So as I rotate the sprite, it's uh, dragging along all the ch children sprites. <clears throat> and uh, what I did with the clothes, uh, the clothes are just a layer on top of... Uh, the entire character is just layers. <coughs> So I have uh, clothes layered on top of the body, and then um, the hair is actually a completely separate entity. <clears throat> That's why you don't see hair sprites. Um, oh, you do see hair sprites, actually. Ah. Well, you can't control the, ha the hair sprite, and there's a reason for that, but let me get to that point. Okay, so we have our sprite rotation, and as you see, it only rotates so far. So, I've also coded in rotation limits for each sprite. So, a leg can only rotate 100 to negative 30. And I've loosely based this on actual human ana anatomy for joint uh, rotation. <clears throat> and as you see, if uh, since I've kind of hyper tried to hyperextend um, the child sprites, they move along with it. So even if the parent can go further than what the child allows, then the child has to keep up. And that's why when I do this, you see all the children's sprites are moving along as well. And then I extend the leg further, and the children keep up. And that's why we can get some goofy uh, movement like this. <clears throat> and you saw right here with the hair, it it fell down. So all that is is a rule. If uh, the hair is within 180 degrees uh, either direction uh, too far, then it's going to flip around. And it's this is all math. None of these sprites are animated. Absolutely none of them. And so this is how... Uh, the characters are built. Cool stuff, right? So, using that, um, you see that this character is animated. So, what I've done here, at the bottom here, um, I've made a timeline with keyframes. And let's use... Uh, this is an idle. Let's use the idle uh, wanderer. So, I typed in... The name it loaded it and each of these uh red 
things are um, keyframes, and then the red boxes show how long it takes to get to uh, that animation. So, loading up the first frame here, this is what the animation is going to be at this point, after all these red frames have completed. And then right here, it's going to move here over this amount of time, and then here over this amount of time. So when we play it, it, it does math. This is all magic. Magic, math, magic. <laughs> and this is how we get an animation. With three keyframes, it's doing all this animation. Isn't that cool? And so we have like, uh, oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Wonder, there we go. And so, uh, this is the fighting pose for the Wanderer. Oh boy. And, yeah, there's different sprites for uh, the mouth and eye. Alright, I think that's everything I can cover with the pose editor. Good stuff. You like this so far? Like what you see? Um, I haven't really talked about the actual game itself with all the stuff. But this is giving you a taste of the mechanics going into it. Um, I think this is good enough for a first devlog. I want to keep these around 10 minutes. Um, if you're interested in this game, like following the development, also, uh, if you're interested in playing it, you can just hop on the Discord. I have a link in the description. Uh, other than that, yeah, good stuff, right? Um, if you want me to talk about other stuff that you see, yeah, just let me know. I'm on Discord, like, all the time. Sound good? Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.